This is Daily Armenia, Civilnet's daily news digest. Here's what you need to know today. What started out as a seemingly innocuous visit to newly renovated schools by Prime Minister Pashinyan has led to a government shakeup. Videos of the trip showed a furious Pashinyan identifying examples of poor quality work and inferior infrastructure at the facilities in Lodi region last week. The next morning, Pashinyan unleashed a tirade on his cabinet about his dissatisfaction with what he saw, noting that if he was able to find faults at first glance, there must be deeper problems. Pashinyan then promptly dismissed the chairman of the Urban Development Committee along with the governor of Lodi. The following day, he made another trip, this time to a school in Armavir region, where he discovered more issues, such as a faulty faucet head. Within hours, an announcement went up that the governor of Armavir had also been fired. While much has been made abroad about Pashinyan cracking down on corruption since coming to power five years ago, the public procurement process has remained a major area of concern. Companies have been known to be paid for certain types of equipment only to substitute it with ones of lower quality in order to pocket the difference. There is also the issue of such tenders often going to to associates of ruling politicians. The Minister of Justice announced today that the Anti-Corruption Committee is investigating the situation surrounding these schools and that the related dismissals are normal because when the leader sees that any department is failing, there should be consequences. Pashinyan's behavior was largely mocked on social media, with people drawing parallels to similar behavior by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko. They find fault with the government bodies responsible for carrying out these inspections, which they feel are beyond the Prime Minister's job description. There is evidence of at least 55 Armenian prisoners still in Azerbaijan's custody, despite its claim to only be holding 23 of them. This is the finding of the Republic of Armenia's investigative committee, according to its chairman, Argishji Kiaramyan. 17 of the confirmed prisoners were captured in 2023, including the former presidents of Artsakh and philanthropist Ruben Vardanyan. Some of the other confirmed captives are Lebanese civilian Viken Yuljekyan and humanitarian aid workers Gor Sutyan and David Davidyan, who were all arrested in the days following the November 2020 ceasefire. In some cases, detainees returned from Baku have stated that they saw fellow Armenians in prison there who are not among those Azerbaijan claims to hold. The Armenian Justice Minister Grigor Minasyan followed up by stating the government is carrying out intensive work in international bodies and courts towards the goal of obtaining the prisoner's release. Armenia will be able to involve international law enforcement officers in investigations against Azerbaijan as a result of Armenia's ratification of the International Criminal Court's Rome Statute, said Minister of Justice Grigor Minasyan today at a press conference. He emphasized that Armenia is not alone in the pretrial processes investigating war crimes and that leading international bodies are involved. The Armenian parliament ratified the Rome Statute this past fall and it will enter into force on February 1st, marking Armenia's accession to the ICC. This move has been particularly unpopular with Russia, as members of the court are obligated to arrest President Vladimir Putin if he is to visit their country. The Armenian government has dismissed the notion of such an arrest and has offered to sign a bilateral agreement with Russia to that effect. Be sure to check out the latest CivilNet podcast in which we sit down with guest Rafi Niziblian, repat and founder of Deem Communications, to discuss the big questions of what it means to be Armenian and what the vision for the future of Armenianness means both within Armenia and abroad. You can find the link in the description below and on our website. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 61. That's Armenia's placement on the 2024 edition of the Global Passport Power Ranking, which measures how easily a passport holder from each country is able to travel abroad. Armenia is tied for 61st with neighbor Azerbaijan, based on the fact their passports both have visa-free entry into 37 countries, visa on arrival in 46, and a visa requirement for 115. Georgia is up at 34th place, with entry into 80 countries visa-free, in large part thanks to it having visa-free travel travel to the EU region, unlike Armenia and Azerbaijan. And as always, please follow CivilNet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.